got to hand it to you. They're all here. I can't do this more than once. Do you intend to stand there whispering in the doorway, or are you going to come in and explain to me why all these people are in my house again? Hmm? Could this possibly be the first annual Dixie Cooney fan club meeting? Hmm? Forget the buffet in the open bar. Would you back off already? What's going on, Mom? Mom. Okay. I can do this. Shaker, we're all family here. We love you. Go ahead. Tell us what you got to tell. I called you all here today because you were the first ones who welcomed me back into your lives, into your hearts. And I wanted you all here together because I know how much you love each other, even when you don't admit it. And you're all going to need each other when you hear what I'm going to say. Two seconds and you're too late. Are you sure this is the way? I'm not sure, Jack. I just know this has to happen. This is harder than I thought. I thought it'd be impossible. All the love you've given me, I don't deserve one bit of it. There's no way that I deserve this. This family is so precious. To me, to all of you, even though you, you can't admit it sometimes, I, I thought it was okay to keep quiet because what this family could be was bigger than any lie. thing to do to have the lie be the answer so I could stay with you try to make you happy fill the the places in your hearts that have been empty for, for three years to show you all love the way you did for me you've done all that and more she knows that you know that did I? Will you hang on to that? Will you remember it? The way I will? You know how much they need you. You changed their lives. Oh. Oh, Lord. To have you all hear it. But, but it's true. No matter how much I wish it weren't. I'm not Dixie. I'm her half-sister. I knew it. I sniffed you out the day you walked in here. Diana, die, Dixie, liar! You're no more Dixie than I am. You're a cheap gold digging. Okay, I'm her sister, Adam. The DNA test. If we had known about a sister, half sister, it would have been taken into consideration for the test. Ted, did you know she was out there, Dixie's half sister? No one knew. I knew she was a fake. Oh, good for you, Adam. Why don't you take that party outside? But you are Dixie. We, we all know that. My name is Di. I wish it weren't. No. No, wherever this came from... Is... We were wrong. You are lying today about this. Why? Why are you doing this? Because I had to. Because everything has changed. To me? Why did you lie to me? To save you. 
I knew I would be safe here. I was, I was running to stay alive. But with y'all, I have been, I have been so happy. I fell in love with uh, Dixie's family, with all of you. I needed you. I, I needed to be a part of this family. It's, it's, it's craziness. It's love. And the amazing part is, is you needed me too. I mean, you, you needed a daughter. And a mother. A niece. I wanted to be all of that. Whatever you wanted me to be. You are my mother. We have to prove. You did this. This smells of you. How did you get to her? No, JR, your father had nothing. How did you get to her? Did you blackmail her? Did you lie to her? Did you, did you threaten her? Son. She readily admits she's a liar and a fraud. And you couldn't be happier? Ah, oh, yes. The prison mate. Yeah, you knew her first. And here you are, with baby doll, showing no signs of any reaction to this astounding revelation. I can only assume that means that you knew all along and didn't bother to tell me. The same as you did with my grandson. And you think that this is all about you, Adam? What about your son and your grandson? What drives you crazy is that a complete stranger made them happier than you ever did. <laughs> One liar defending another. Adam, stop. They, they came to you a long time ago. They came to you with the truth. And it, it got Crystal out of prison and it landed me smack in the middle of a DNA test. I, I had jeans on my side. I, I crossed my fingers and hoped I had enough of Dixie in me to... To be called the real thing. The options presented were Dixie or a complete stranger. With enough matching genes, a sibling could be considered a match. I have Dixie's genes. I have Dixie's blood. I'm her half-sister, your aunt, J.R. Dixie, what are you? Half-sister? My sister? What the hell is this? I'd say you were behind this, Lago, if you had any more brains. Is this because of the dragon screw? They're done. They can't get you. You don't have to lie about who you are to stay safe. And make this worse for anybody, I swear I'm gonna throw you out. It's okay, Dixie. You're home now. Crow Hollow was my home first. Yeah, I went there. No one had ever heard of you. Why? It was home for one day, the day I was born. One more mouth to feed, one more body to close, so they handed me off to an aunt. Louise Kirby. And she took me away and called me Di Kirby and raised me as her own until I met Del. She was all I had. I never knew. I never knew what family was like. I never knew it could feel like this. This is what our marriage means to you. You can save me from a man that I loved more than I ever even liked you. It's a good thing we never claimed to be conventional. You, me, or your ex-lover's baby. Glad he was gone because I wasn't going to let him hurt you.